Good morning and welcome to Holy Trinity Church online to our morning worship on 29th of March 2020. This is the second Sunday that we've been unable to meet as a congregation in the building and uh, I'm not even allowed now to meet in the building on my own so I'm in my living room for this service. Uh, after the service we'll be gathering for coffee uh, on Zoom. I uh, hope you've received your invitation uh, either by email or that you have a phone number to call in to. That'll be an experiment uh, to help us uh, talk to each other or see each other in some sense face to face. I uh, hope that works. Uh, it'll be a, a work in progress. Uh, it'll also be a chance to catch up on each other's news. Our service sheet is the same as last Sunday and is available on the church website. Um, morning worship. The psalm this morning is Psalm 46. Psalm 46. And uh, I'm just going to get mine ready. Psalm 46. The Lord's our strength and refuge. Let me pray and then we'll begin. Lord, as we meet in this unusual way, we thank you that you speak by your word and by your Holy Spirit, and that as I read your word and we pray together, Lord, you will do a great work in our hearts and minds at this time to give us your peace and assure us, assure us of your presence. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so to worship together. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Amen. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Extol him, all you peoples. For great is his love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Amen. This we call to mind, and therefore we have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Amen. And so to Psalm 46. I'm reading from the New International Version. Psalm 46. For the director of music of the sons of Korah, according to Alamoth, a song. God is our refuge and strength, an ever heaven, an ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, she will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord, the desolations he has brought upon the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I'll be exalted among the nations. I'll be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well,
this morning as we meet for a second time as a church online it might be that the novelty is wearing off that the wish or desire to be back to normal is stronger than last week and life for everyone has just become very chaotic and chaos, chaos is scary. Psalm 46 describes chaos, scary chaos in verses 2 and 3. The earth gives way, mountains fall into the heart of the sea, waters roar and foam, mountains quake. And in verse 6, nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall, the earth melts there is desolation on the earth verse 8 and this is the work of the lord now, chaos is scary because we as little human beings get tossed about in chaos thrown from place to place normal rhythms and routines are wrecked and everything is up in the air and we are all still adjusting to this new reality. And we're not sure what the new normal will look like after the crisis has passed. And yet, in the middle of the crisis, in the middle of the chaos and calamity, Psalm 46 tells us where to find a place of calm. Psalm 46 points us to a connection Calm in chaos, connection in calamity, in calamity. Verse 1, God is our refuge and strength, and ever-present help, ever help in trouble. It is God himself with whom we have that connection, and he is the place of calm. He is our refuge and strength. He is the ever-present help in times of trouble. So when everything is collapsing around us, God is the indestructible refuge, the unmoving mover, and a source of great gladness. Verse 4, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. When God is with his people, they cannot fall. And in the middle of chaos and calamity, God's people are told two things. First, be still, verse 10. And second, know that I am God. So be still. Sit down, pour a cup of tea, rest. Be still. Don't flap, don't panic, don't run around trying to fix things, just be still. And then secondly, know that God is God and that God is good and that his steadfast love endures forever. He will be exalted in all the nations. Verse 1 again. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. God's our refuge and strength. So, when we fear, then we flap and panic and run around. And we might even look calm on the outside, but inside our hearts are flapping and our emotions are panicking and our mind is running around. But verse 7 and 11 give us pause for thought. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Therefore, we will not fear, but we will be still and know that God is God. 
Let's pray. Lord, we know the experience of chaos can create great fear and anxiety. But even on the outside, if we appear calm on the inside, our hearts are flapping, our emotions are panicking, our minds are racing. And we thank you that because you are our strength and our refuge, the unmoving mover, the unshakable shelter, we can be still and know that you are God. Help us, Lord, to find that place of stillness this week as we pray to you in times of calamity. Amen. Jesus says, repent and believe the good news for the kingdom of God is near. So let us turn to Christ and away from sin which separates us from God and divides us from our neighbours. We pray together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we might serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty and most merciful God, rich in mercy and abounding in steadfast love, you have promised not to let your judgment fall on those who humbly confess their faults as they trust in your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray for the needs of the world and the church and for ourselves. Lord, it is a strange season indeed where your church cannot gather in safety. Lord, where it's wise to distance ourselves from each other. And yet in this time of separation, we know that you are at work. Your plans cannot be thwarted, your purposes cannot be derailed. You are our strength and refuge, a very present help in time of trouble. And so Lord, as the churches in this land and many other nations are separated for a season, scattered into exile, we pray that you would continue to bring calm to your people, that we would not fear or flap or panic or run around, but be still and know that you are God. We pray for us as a nation and for all the nations of the world. You have said in your word that you will be exalted amongst the nations. And Lord, we pray that you would protect us from seeking simple scientific or human solutions to problems that we have created by not listening to your word, nor doing your will. We pray for collective repentance in your church and in the world, that people would turn to you in faith, to seek your face, to know that you are God, and Lord, to be united in the love that you have for us in Christ Jesus, as Saviour and Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our hospitals, for those who are caring for the sick and for the sick themselves. Lord, we ask that those who are working tirelessly to care for those who are in distress, Lord, that you would give them the strength and sustenance they need to continue to serve 
with the gifts and the knowledge that you have given them. We pray for doctors, nurses and administrators, for cleaners and for all those, Lord, involved in keeping hospitals open. We pray for builders who are building new hospitals. We pray for patients and their families, Lord, separated in the time of crisis. Lord, where there's anxiety, bring peace. Where there's grief, bring comfort. Where there's hopelessness, Lord, bring the hope of your gospel to bear in the lives of us all. We may be calm to comfort those who are suffering with the comfort you have given us in Christ Jesus. Amen. God of glory, by the death and resurrection of your Son, you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope, for a new day has dawned, and the way to life stands open in our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. As our Saviour Jesus taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I hope you'll be able to join us on Zoom at 11 o'clock for a virtual coffee and refreshments after service. And tomorrow morning at 9.30 will be daily prayer from Monday to Thursday. And there'll be occasional webcasts on what to pray in times of calamity uh, on, at 7 o'clock in the evenings again on YouTube and Facebook. Every blessing. Take care.